to the end of the class. One of the last things we need to learn is how to duplicate our entire site. We are going to use this plugin, the Duplicator WordPress Migration plugin. I have found it to be the most useful. There are some other popular ones that don't allow you to have quite as much content, and so unless you pay for it, but this is a good free one. So install it and activate it. And once you do, uh, you will see that it's down here in your dashboard. And so we are going to click on Duplicator and Packages. We're going to come to the right hand side. We're going to Create New. Now we're going to give it a name. And I am working on a student's right now, a backup Tate Creates. She's one of the reasons that we want to have this because she had a catastrophic failure. Her computer died and something about her settings got messed up. And after working on it for two weeks, we have not been able to get it back up and going again. All right, but there we have a name and we are going to click Next. It's going to scan. All right, so here we are, and you can see most things are good. I do have one notice, so let's take a look at what that is. And in this case, it says that uh, my file is over 150 megabytes. It's at 163, and it can be ignored on most hosts, and indeed, this is true. So I am not going to worry about that. We are going to close it up, and it is fine. And I am going to say yes, continue with the build process. All right, so now I am going to download both the archive. The archive is the, the zip file that has all of my backup in it. So I'm going to download that. I'm also going to download the installer. So both of these are important. Now supposedly this is a one-click download, but I've had trouble with it. So it's supposed to install both. It's supposed to download both these things, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. So we're just going to go with that there. Now, what do we do from here? How, what do we do that now we have this uh, archived file and I want to be able to, uh, to use that? So let me go to my, this is to the basic map page. Usually we click on my websites, but today we're gonna go to PHP My Admin, which is one of the first things we did in the beginning of the class. So I just wanna give you a quick explanation of how you would uh, use your backup in order to install to a new site. All right, so if you remember that the first thing when we were creating uh, your website was we had to give it a database name. So I'm going to call this one Tate Creates and I'm going to say two because I already have that original one that I duplicated everything from. So I'm going to create this. And before I do, I'm going to just go ahead and copy paste this. There we go. Tate creates. And that's good. I am happy with that. What I'm going to do next is I am going to open up my file. And I'm going to want two windows open, really. So let me go ahead and get another window open. And I am going to go to Downloads for the One, because I have my installer and my backup for Tate Creates. And I'm going to go into, on the Mac, I go into Applications. And I'm going to go to my MAMP. And I'm going to go to my HTT Docs. So here I'm going to open this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Tate Creates 2. So I just got that from that, from the database I just created. 
I'm going to take the installer and the backup and I'm going to put them in here. Okay, then the next thing I want to do is get my MAMP going. But because I just did something new, I want it, the servers to stop so it can process the new information. And then I'm going to start it back up again. Okay, now we're going to go click on my website like we normally do. And we have a new database here, Take Creates 2. And we're going to click on Installer.